Now we're going to talk about a plant which is called Bambusa glossus, which is the hedge bamboo. هو نبات القصيب وفي أنواع متعددة من القصيب. It's a tropical plant. متواجد بتكل كثيف في وادي الأردن وفي منطقة الأغوار وفي العقبة والبحر الميت. لكن أيضا يمكن أن يزرع في مناطق متعددة من منطقتنا اللي إحنا فيها. وعادة الجميل في هذه النبتة إنه البامبو it's a plant where you can use it بكونتينرز يعني لازم تكون المساحة تبعها محدودة لأنه جذورها متراكمة وصعب تزرع أي إشي خلف البامبو أو تحت البامبو فأنا بفضل دائما البامبو to take the shape of a container plant هيك بيقدر الواحد يتعامل معها ويحطها بشكل مكثف الجميل فيها اللون اليلوش of the trunks أو العيدان تبعها أو القصيب نفسه بيطلع عادة بعطي good caliber تتحمل القص بشكل كبير جدا you can prune it heavily وتتجدد تكثير الزراعة أحواض محددة حتى تمنع عملية النمو العشوائي ومن الصعب السيطرة you cannot control it so you have to put it in a planter you have to border it, contain it needs considerable space for growing it has a competitive root system which means you cannot plant anything underneath it and you have to be careful with this plant material as such and most of the time bambusa uh, glossens or fi bambusa vulgaris or fi arandarina we're gonna come to that plant also at a later stage when we are doing more plants to check them out when we want to do the leaves of this plant also the leaves they go to tend to come up on a light green with a yellow uh, ending of the leaves so you have to be also what's nice about the bamboo you can cut it and you can dry it in your house and it lasts for if you put some fixative on it it could last for a longer time as a dry plant inside your house and this gives the plant the shape you'd like inside in its format it looks it will be look like sometimes looks like an artificial plant inside but most of the time i like to use it as it is cut it and put it and the bamboos you can use these bamboos for so many purposes as such Sometimes on these smaller woody things, you will see that it has some greenery comes on the plant on the same on the woody uh, sticks. So the name of the plant, as we said, it is a hedge bamboo and the hedge bamboo gets to about 3.6 in diameter and also the hedge bamboo uh, it's a very woody if you'd like to have it usually I put it by swimming pools or by pools or water features because it looks like it's the most like the Musa, the Musa Arnara uh, as a plant, it's good to have this. And here, you will see these small nods at the end. They look like they are woody things, like they are somebody carved in the shape of these knots, you know. It's like they have knots. And here we go, trying to give some depth to the plant as such. Mm. 
again al Qusayb, which is a woody plant. And that woody plants gives a bit. Hala, most of these woody plants, al Qusayb, which is the bamboo says plants, usually there are small, hairy, spiky things at, sometimes you will find it at the leaf or you will find it at the, uh, uh, I'm not comfortable with using this brush. I should be using a lighter brush, but I don't know where it is. And when I come at this, frame my grounds. The little bit looks like I have some grassy, woody, grassy elements at the end. like I'm this is now I'm ending my drawing with a little bit touch of these elements Okay, so this I end up my bambooses plant. Now I don't have that much space to write, but I have to keep on getting my name, uh, the name of the plant drawn. Well, it's a bambusa. Bambusa. Glow. C E C E N S, which is the hedge bamboo, hedge bamboo, Al Qusayb. Taban un tuarfin Qusayb in the good old days vernacular architecture, they used to take these wooden things, dry them, and they use them as uh, the ceiling. Uh, uh, as a ceiling for the old houses or the vernacular architecture uh, vernacular houses i will just put my name and i'll put the date 26 sorry doesn't work here so i'll put it here 26 
5 20 20 make sure you document your work this is as we said the tropical woody grass needs considerable space for growing it has a competitive root system bamboo seglosens hedge bamboo and usually it is a hedge a specimen a screen beautiful screen fast growth you see it around most of the farms in the Dead Sea or the Jordanian Valley farms uh, fast to growth fast to growth sun requests sun medium soil alkaline it's a columnar shape I like this plant and it's good for a hedge but I used to put it wherever you have these watery plants next to the Warak uh, al-Barda or the uh, Atrafolius plant or by the elephant ear or by those uh, acanthus if you have shaded areas next to it the callas and the cannas um, it's a good plant uh, you can use it uh, and it gives that texture different shape different uh, color thank you